fair. I want to talk about this Regal segment with Matt Hardy here. So the Hardys are all excited to go to ringside for this match with Triple H for the for the title. And, of course, Regal meets with Matt Hardy, and he, he announces that, Matt Hardy, you are banned from ringside. This sort of thing happens all the time in wrestling. It still happens to this day. And, of course, you know, nine times out of ten nowadays, when you when you ban the baby face from ringside, the baby faces are all pissed off about it. It's not fair. Oh, my God. And you're just thinking, you fucking geeks. Like, your plan is just to go cheat? <laughs> like, come on. But in this instance, he bans Matt from ringside. Matt, at first, is very angry. But then he says, you know what? You can do this, Jeff. You don't need me out there. You go out there and you can do this by yourself. And Jeff goes, yeah, man, I can do this. And he gets all fired up and they head out there. And I thought, that's the way it's done with baby faces. The ship was sinking. They still know how to do certain things. Brian, you'd be happy to hear the uh, mystery has been solved. Uh, the, uh, the text I've gotten here says, the direction said to broil two minutes. Should have done one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good to know. I'm yeah. glad your house is not burning down. Yeah, SMI, SMI. So let's see. Uh, yeah, we had Regal banning Matt from ringside, and uh, Jeff will be stripped of the title if Matt shows up. Triple H versus Jeff Hardy. And Matt's watching a monitor backstage. They had another good TV match, but just like last week, they're still new working with each other, so their timing on some things is just way off. Last week, it was the power slam off the apron. This week, Jeff grabs him for a jawbreaker, and Hunter drops before Jeff is ready. They just do it again. So, Hunter hits, I think it was a neck breaker. Lita breaks up the pin. Steph goes after her. Jeff gets the belt, hits Hunter with it. Leaves me a bunch of two counts. He misses the sent on. And finally, Steve Austin attacks Matt Hardy backstage. Lays him out, destroys him. This is shown on the big screen. Lita is conflicted. But eventually, she leaves Jeff to go try to help Matt. I'm not sure what she thought she was going to do, because Austin comes out on the ramp and stops her and stalks her, and he's stalking her and stalking her and stalking her, and suddenly the bell rings. Yes. And we are informed that Triple H has pinned Jeff Hardy to end his intercontinental title reign. Yeah. It, it wasn't even on camera. <laughs> you know what, Vinny? Now, when, when I heard the bell ring, I was furious that they found a way to miss the finish, but then it occurred to me... Did we really need to see the finish? Because I'm pretty fucking sure that if they show the finish, I know what it is. And in fact, <laughs> Hunter hit the pedigree on Jeff Hardy and pinned him clean in the middle. That's that what was, happened. So the mystery that, was solved. That was a weird thing. They didn't show the setup. They didn't show Jeff missing something. I don't think something. there was one. I think he just, he just booted him and pinned him. That was it. So they continue the assault. The Hardys are beaten up. Before and we get to the assault, Vinny, I got a couple things about the match. So first right. off, Hunter gives his fucking guy nothing. He just yes. beats the shit out of him forever. Factual. He pummels him. He pounds on him. Every time Jeff does something, he just gets cut off again. And of course, you know, Jeff is going to make a comeback. So how do they set up Jeff making a comeback? Well, he has to hit the guy with a metal belt because he, the only thing that can hurt Hunter is metal. You got to hit yes. him with the belt, and then you got to throw him into the steps, and then you got to throw him into the post. Now you're allowed to make a comeback. So he's making this comeback, and and Hunter's screaming spots at the top of his lungs, playing Shawn Michaels from like five years earlier. He was actually shouting things. Yes, we miss the goddamn finish, and then of course afterwards they show the replay of the pedigree. And by the way, the the beating backstage when when Steve Austin got his hands on Matt Hardy. Steve Austin swings a chair, and he hits Matt in the back. Mm -hmm. He's going to swing another chair at the, at the back, but for whatever reason, the way that Matt sold the first chair, Austin starts swinging for the back, but he ends up hitting him in the fucking head. Oops. Totally gives him a chair shot to the head on accident, and Matt's down. He curls up into a fetal position. He's holding his head. I'm like, this poor fucking guy. I knew this wasn't going to end well. So then... <laughs> Austin and Hunter come out, and they kill the Hardys. They hit them with chairs. Steve Austin wraps a leather belt around Jeff's neck and starts dragging him around the ring. They decide they need to kill Lita. Lita throws Stephanie, or Stephanie throws Lita into the ring so that she can be killed by these two men again, who have killed these other men. 
And then, of course, they play The Undertaker's music. Him and Kane don't actually give a shit about Lita because they no. saunter down the ramp as slowly as humanly possible. Like, they could have killed Lita six ways from Sunday before The Undertaker and Kane were going to get there. So they finally get there, and the heels bail, and they run away. The point of all of this is, and this is, this is not a surprise, it's hardly a spoiler, this whole thing did jack shit for Jeff Hardy. Yep. This win over Triple H, this win that I put in air quotes over Triple H, this rematch on Raw where he's just treated like a fucking geek and he has to use a belt and stairs and a post to even begin to make a comeback on this guy. Then he's pinned clean in the middle of the ring with the guy's pedigree. And I'm just watching the thing going, you know what? When Jeff Hardy was nothing but a tag team guy, and him and Matt Hardy, like, they won the tag team championships, and they fucking had great matches on Raw and on SmackDown, and they had TLC matches on pay-per-views, and they had big matches that everybody loved at WrestleManias. That fucking guy was 10 times more over than he was when Triple H got finished with him, supposedly giving him the fucking rub on these last two shows. This was ridiculous. And by the way, this is just the beginning. We got years of this to come. Yeah. And you say that they just came off a huge ladder match at WrestleMania where they they did amazing. Well, and they made they, a big mistake doing that on that show. Apparently. They had to be put in their place here. So, yes, the two-man power trip which they haven't actually used that term on TV yet, but they're standing over Lita. The lights go out. I think music play, but the lights come back up, and Steve Austin looks right at Hunter Hearst Helmsley and shouts at the top of his lungs, What the fuck was that? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and I laughed and laughed and laughed. Taker and Kane come out. Hunter and Austin run away, and that's the end of the show. Mm -hmm. I do love so, that, that Steve Austin is doing, like, everything he can to be a heel. Like, the old, the old Stone Cold Steve Austin would never have been af afraid of pyro, but sure. some pyro goes off, and, like, he jumped. He jumped, and he looked scared, and he got freaked out, and he was like, what the fuck was that noise, Hunter? Everything that he does, he's trying so hard. And by the way, by the way, I do have to mention one other thing, because I don't want to forget. Going back to the very beginning of the show... I thought it was hilarious when Deborah comes out and she blames Vince for everything that Steve Austin is doing right now. And Vince's exact line is, I just want you to know that all of this, all of Steve's actions of late, this was all his idea. And in fact, <laughs> that's true. This was all his that. idea. And Vince was very sincere when he's explaining this. <laughs> all this shit your husband's doing, it's, it was all his idea. It mm -hmm. wasn't mine. That's all true. Yeah. 